magandang araw! Isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang itinihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala! Nandito ako para tulungan ka! Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting! With me, Teacher Joyce! Giving the place value and value and reading and writing decimal numbers through hundreds. After going through this lesson, the students are expected to give the place value and value of a digit of a given decimal number through hundreds as well as to read and write decimal numbers through hundreds. What is decimal number? It is a number that has a decimal point followed by digits that shows a value that is smaller than 1. The period represents decimal point. The number after the decimal point is called the decimal numbers. And the number on the left or before the decimal point is what we call the whole number. Look at the place value chart of a whole number and decimal number below and try to analyze the place value and value of the digit in the decimal number. As you can see, the place value of a decimal number starts with tenths, hundreds, thousands, and so on. If we are dealing with decimal, you will observe that there is THS at the end of each place of value. So we have 1.721, wherein 1 is in the 1's place and the value is 1. After the decimal point, we have 7 and it is in the 10's place. And the value is 7 tenths or it can be written as 0 0.7. 2 is in the hundreds place and the value is 2 hundredths or it can be written as 0 0.02. 1 is in the thousands place and the value is 1 thousands or it can be written as 0.001 Remember, to write the decimal number, we have to follow simple steps. So first, we write the whole number part, which is 1. Then, uh, write the decimal point as end. Next, write the decimal part the same way you would write a whole number. So we have 721. Then lastly, write the place value of the last digit. So in this uh, example, the last digit is 1 and it is in the thousands place. Again, 1.721 can be written and read as 1 and 721 thousands. Next, we have 0 0.4. 0 is in the ones place. This means that there is no whole number. After the decimal point, we have 4. 4 is in the tenths place and the value is 4 tenths or it can be written as 0 0.4. Since it does not have a whole number, we just simply write the decimal part the same way as we write the whole number. So we write 4, then write the place value of the last digit. 4 is the last digit, so we write tenths. 0 0.4 can be written or read as 4 tenths. Another example, we have 2.07. 2 is in the ones place and the value is 2. 0 is in the tenths place and the value is 0. 7 is in the hundreds place and the value is 7 hundreds or it can be written as 0 0.07. To write the decimal number in words, write the whole number part. So we have 2, then write end for the decimal point, 
write the decimal part the same way you would write the whole number. So we have 7. And then write the place value of the last digit. The last digit is 7 and it is in the hundreds place. Again, 2.07 can be written and read as 2 and 7 hundreds. Get a pen and paper to check your mastery. Give the place value of the underlying digit. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Your timer starts now. Time's up! Let's check your work. Number 1. We have 0 0.45. 5 is in hundreds place. Number 2. 9.7 and 7 is in the tenths place. Number 3. 1.15 1 is in the tenths place. Number 4, 17.02. 0 is in the tenths place. And number 5, 0 0.08, where 8 is in the hundreds place. Let's have another example. But this time, you would give the value of the underlying digit. Your timer starts now. All right, time's up. So number one, we have 0 0.85, where 5 is the underlying digit, and its value is 5 hundredths. Number two, we have 1.28, where 2 is the underlying digit, and its value is 2 tenths. For th number three, we have... 3.66 6 is the underlying digit and its value is 6 hundreds number 4 is 6.90 where 9 is the underlying digit and the value is 9 tenths and for number 5 we have 0 0.15 where 5 is the underlying digits and its value is 5 hundredths. This time, we will write the following in decimal form. Your timer starts now.
times up number one two and three hundreds so to answer this we'll be using the place value chart as our guide so we have two and three hundreds so the answer is 2.03 number two 65 and 65 hundreds so we will write it as 65.65 .65. Number 3, we have 59 hundredths. So we write it as 0 0.59. Number 4 is 7 tenths. So we write it as 0 0.7. And then for number 5, we have 84 hundredths. So we write it as 0 0.84. That's a perfect score. Excellent! That's all for today. If you learned from this video, don't forget to enroll for my channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Bye-bye and have a great day!